first find of the day. A tiny red bead. Yes, love a bead. Probably Westerwold, do we think? How much of it do we think there is? Not a face. Okay, so I came down here because I spotted this little yellow glass ball and I wondered if it was a bead, but it's not. It's just a complete yellow glass ball. So that is great for a marble in the doll's house. And then because I came down here to see this, I think I've spotted a teensy, tiny seed bead. I broke my nail, so I'm not even sure. <laughs> the tiniest little black seed bead. The yellow glass ball. Another weird piece of glass. It's got like coloured. Oh, what is that? It just melted? It looks like it's a shape though. Look at that. Oh, it's weird that it's got the colour inside. I know. It looks like the top of. Um, you know, like a light bulb or a syringe, but it's got blue inside. Yeah. Isn't that weird? It's beautiful. It looks like a... It looks like a lady shape. Yeah. But the body of a lady. Sure it like that. That's really weird. I like that. Look. I okay, found a whole one of these. <laughs> but I've got the best bit. <laughs> so Ali Sopa. It's Ali Sopa's face and his nose. Nice. He was a cartoon character in the Victorian times. Nice. That would make a very good pendant. Well, that looks like that might be an amazing piece for our project, if it's what I think it is. Oh, it is glass! My goodness! Wow! Look at that! It's blue glass with clear and some sort of flower. That's amazing! Wow, what a brilliant piece of glass that is! a random shape or a creature. Hmm. I can't tell. Does that bit not look like a mouth with an eye? I'll have to clean the other side. I'll take it to some water and see. <laughs> to me it sort of looks like a creature. And then there's also this. weird shapes here that I think I'm going to go clean. I think this one's just a melted bottle. But to me that one looks like a tiger of some sort. So I'm going to take it. It's very round. <laughs> clay marble. Always got to find a clay marble. Ooh. It's glass, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, like those, like the black ones we find. Yeah. That could make a really cute flowers. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like a little posy of flowers. Nice. Oh, and look. Oh, is it a hole? No. Oh. That's a shame. It seems to be the day of broken things. It's an arm, doll's arm, but it's broken. Oh, <laughs> I'll still take it though, yeah. Well, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's got its fingers. It's lost yeah. its thumb, but that bit's broken. Like it might be a button. Oh, Ooh, it's got something on it. Ooh, what does it say? 
probably says London. I wonder what it says, because that's not a button back. That's like um, a button. You put it in a button hole or like a collar or something. Ooh, it's got writing on it. Maybe if I try and dry it, that might help. It says London and it says something and co at the bottom. How exciting. Love a, a metal thing where you can actually read what it says. So much potential history. Just picked this up and it's wooden. But it's a very deliberate shape. Hmm, might take that and try and dry it out carefully. Gold acorns. <laughs> Broken, but can never say no. The hoof pipe. Glad to see they're still here. <laughs> Does that look like a leaf? How much is there going to be of it? Just picked this up because it looked unusual and it says Leon Leonops Oh patent Adamus Le it says L E O N P S Leon Le Leonops oh, it's, it's impossible to say So I might take that I wonder, I wonder if it was a uh, like a water um, what are they called? What are those big ceramic water things called? Um, water filter. Water filter. So, like the big ones, you get the Dalton ones. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if it was one of those. I know what that is. It's a bit bent. It is a tiny cork with the lead top and lid. Wow, I'm sure there's something we can do with that. It's beautiful. I think that's a melted top of a stopper. <laughs> Maybe. But it's quite nice. That's just a melted something, but green glass and it could be useful for something. It's beautiful. It looks like a tusk of some sort. Look! Is it stripy? Oh, it's a beautiful is it a cane or a bugle bead? It's yellow though. That would be very useful. Is that a cabbage or a flower? It's probably a flower, but probably use it as a lettuce or a cabbage in the garden. Huh. Maybe we can give it a light green coat. It does look like a cabbage. It does. Hmm. That looks like a cool piece of pottery. Wow. Well, Terra marine. Wow, look at that. Huh. Look, yeah, look. It's not going to have, it's a, head, gonna have it? a head, no, but... Oh, look at the little belly! Oh, goodness! Oh, that's Definitely fixable. fix that. Hi, where's your head? Look at the little belly button. It's such a cute belly! Nice. Nice, no, here's a piece of pottery. Thanks. <laughs> that looks like it could be handy, is it, Bone? It is. Tiny bone, like oh. screw, from the end of something, I imagine. Nice. Careful. <laughs> Look at what Mum has <laughs> just pointed. What do we think? I think it might be broken. Do you think? I think I can see that it's broken. Careful now. Okay, careful, careful, careful. Yeah, it's broken. Oh. That's such a shame. Oh. 
What was it? What does that say? Corner of the... I don't know, it's very... Oh, that's yeah. such a shame. <laughs> One <Wow>. day. <laughs> oh. It looks like a button. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. It is glass. It has like a sun. Oh, I love that. I like that a lot. A beautiful bead. Lilac. That's really nice. Yay, a bead! Could be useful for something. Shamrock or clover spongeware. That's nice. Look at that. It's just glass. What was it though? But now the way it's cracked, it's beautiful. What was it that it was so thick? Oh, I don't know if I want to take that or not. Actually, whilst I'm showing it to you though. Looks like that's going to be a button. Ooh! It's definitely going to have something on it too. Does it look like it's going to have a crown and some letters? Or a hand? Ooh. It looks like it could be really interesting. Like maybe something we haven't found before. Hmm. A rifle pellet, the chest set, another bead, a little white, no actually it's blue, is it blue? Blue and white maybe, some more handfuls of things, such a shame that it's in pieces, Belfast, oh something whiskey, but it's just smashed and shattered and all the pieces aren't there, it's actually melted I think, such a shame. Another tiny ball, could be a marble. Not real marble, but see for the doll's house. <laughs> that looks like it's metal. Oh, it's got a little um sort of hole, so it would have been the top of something. Interesting. And that'll be very handy, I'm sure. look like oh I think it's a beautiful beautiful is it a bead it's got a hole either end but it's a bit melted but oh looks like it would have been beautiful look Kate <gasps> how decorated it is oh gosh it's got like, wow. is it flowers? Is it like yeah. a branch? Yeah, I think they're like flowers. Wow. That looks, yeah, possibly. Because like, with like the wedding cake ones. And so it's wound though, you yeah. can see that, can't you? It's such a shame yes. it's melted, but. That's it's a stunning, stunning bead. That's a nice one. And then some other tiny finds. There is a tiny little 
white seed bead. Oh. marble <laughs> I think it is <laughs> very crusty hook and eye it's gonna make giant scissors for the doll's house <laughs> there's the tiniest little cabbage on if I put my finger next to it <laughs> it is tiny absolutely tiny <laughs> Can I pick it up? Uh, maybe I should just pick the piece of glass up. It's the cup of pottery it's on. There we go. Got it. It's like a pleasant. Nice. That looks like a cool one. Oh, look. It's a little bead, but it's like flowered. It might be UV. I'm not sure. Wow. I like that. It looks like a little frog. <laughs> wow. It's like a little clover, maybe. Oh, that's a nice bead. I'm doing beads today. Okay, so three finds. First of all, very melted blue button and very close to the camera. No, is a teensy tiny seed bead, clear glass seed bead. And up here, A beautiful four hole mother of pearl button. Let's see, is there anything else in this tiny pouch? More seed beads because they are always useful for the doll's house. to be a lovely knob. Ooh! Wow, okay. It's got gold on it. Wow, you can definitely we could definitely just use that. That's beautiful. Lovely. Collar stud. like what I think it is. Oh, it is. Do you think we'll be able to get that melted glass off? Can you see? It's, it all looks a bit like Westerwald, but it doesn't look glazed, but it might just be the fire damage. But it's a little shield shape with a brick wall and probably a castle or house on it. Whoa. I wonder if we'll be able to clean that up, get that glass off. No, oh, I don't think we will. I'm going to take it. Oh, but that's such a shame. It would have been so cool. It's a shield with a building on. Bugle bead. Red one. Good for dolls. Sorry, it's in the shade. A red bead. I've got a white inside. Oh, is it patterned? Is it? <gasps> it is patterned! <gasps> That's beautiful! It's like a rose. Uh, like a knot. I think it's a rose. It's a tiny rose. 
Wow, okay, this is definitely a good bead day. Wow, that's beautiful. Another cabbage on. Look at glass one, oh, it's green. Lovely. Do we think it's going to be complete? Where is this? Oh, there. Sorry, it's been there. This. Yes, the ah, head. the head. It's the I head. I wonder how much of the head is going to be there. Oh, Ooh, I'd say the whole I'd thing. I'd say the whole thing. Oh, she's wow. very pretty. She's beautiful. She's got a really, really detailed face. She's sort of rolling her eyes. <laughs> Well, she was stuck in the mud for a long time. <laughs> yeah. She's got such lovely hair. Is it a man? Is it like a... Is it like a pompadour wig? No, it's a lady. It's, it is a pompadour wig, mm -hmm. but it's a lady. Well, I presume it is. Um, um, no, he's got a flower in his hair, yeah? Mm, or just a... I don't know. It's, they're gorgeous. It is beautiful. Nice. It's melted. Oh, it does look like a plastic it's bag. It <laughs> <laughs> could be something. It's got sort of bumping. It's got sort of bumping around the edge. Could be a cog, tiny coin. Might need some soaking. Exciting. That could be something. Hmm. Why has it got three dots? Interesting. Oh my gosh, it looks like a frog. And that's what I said. <laughs> wow. This, this might be just the rose. I think it might be white in the middle. Oh wait, um, let me put those two in so I can. That's amazing. That is a beautiful rose. And it, yeah, I think it is white in the middle. It's like mm -hmm. cabbage on, there's like a green cabbage on, and then there was another tiny one, and there's like loads of beads. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just crawl around here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, it's just definitely a day of beads for me. Look at that beautiful one. Cobalt blue. That's lovely. Nice. A while since we found one of these on this beach. Well, actually, I found one last time I came, but it was broken. But this one is not broken. It's an arm. <laughs> That's very yellow. Ooh. It swells through it. That's beautiful. UV again, maybe? I don't know, it might be a bit yellowy. Well, it really definitely is the bead day. <laughs> And another bead. This little clay bead this time that's been burnt. Wow, I don't know how many beads that is now. <laughs> Quite a lot. Do you think they're windows? Or is it just a pattern? I think they might be windows.
I'm collecting bits of metal like this because they're always very useful for crafts. Is that going to be spongeware flowers? Say it was. Looks like a beautiful bead. Mum's just said it's a good bead day. Look at that one. That is a beautiful bead. Ooh. Bead or melted glass? <gasps> bead. Beautiful green bead. Ooh. I don't really know what that is. Maybe a bead, I don't know. Odd shape. Don't think it's a melted piece of glass. I'm not sure. Little tiles are always useful, even though it's got a chip out of it. For a floor somewhere in the doll's house, maybe. I bent down to pick up this piece of tea glass because I thought it was a quite a nice piece actually. But then, a blue bead. <laughs> bead to go on. Might be the last blue bead. Toothpaste or some sort of cement paste lid top. Always great for a craft. Do we think this is sneaky? <laughs> yes. What do we think? Complete? I'm thinking it's unlikely. Let's have a look. As I suspected. That's a Royal Dalton, and I think that's probably a hunting dog. I might have to take that. That looks like a beautiful bead. Oh, that's a lovely yellow one. Amazing. What a brilliant, brilliant bead day. Well, that was our tr double trip to our favourite beach. Um, it's getting harder to find things on that beach. Mm. We were basically crawling along on our hands and knees. But they found lots of beads. Lots, lots of and lots beads. of beads. Yeah. Beautiful beads. Yeah, I, I strung some of them up. I don't, I don't know how many are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18. Well, there's some really pretty ones. Mm. Beautiful ones. And they're all very different. That one isn't UV, by the way. Oh, unfortunately. It's not. No. It's just a shame about that one being so melted. I think it would have been stunning, but. It's a shame it's so burnt. But I think it would have been a wedding cake bead which is a Venetian? Mm -hmm. Venetian bead. A 
we've got some examples of other beads. Here's a wedding bit. cake one. Yeah. And you can see it probably would have been applied, but it's got burnt and they've come off. But it is very similar, isn't it? Mm hmm. So it's such a shame. There's a yellow one as well. Which is just as damaged. I think they get damaged quite a lot. Other. And you know, these are the Miller Four ones. I still Miller can't find my one. <laughs> Yeah, another beautiful bead to add to the collection. There's the red one, the, mm. the tiny rose one. I think it's a rose. It's got a white core too. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I do love a bead. Mm. Yeah, it made me happy to find lots of beads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was the second visit. What did we find on the first visit? And some doll bits. Yep, like a uh, body which will be turned into a doll. And really detailed, beautiful head. Mm. Pipe bits. <laughs> this. <laughs> it looks like a. I know you say a monkey, it looks like an old man to me. It's like, you know, it's got ears. It's like it's hunched over. Yeah. I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments below. Whether you think he is or not. A thing or not. I mean, they did make handles that look like things. They did, yeah. Mm, a couple of marbles, um, clay marbles. Um, Nice pieces of pottery. And this does not say Leonops, it says Leonis, and the Burns has made the apostrophe look like it's connected to the eye to make a P. But it's actually Leonis patent, Adamus, and it is a beer tap. So Mr. Leone was based in London, and the Adamus refers to the material that it's made out of, and it's a type of clay made of silicate of magnesia reduced to powder and formed by hydraulic pressure so basically they did that so it didn't oxidate or corrode so he sort of dates to around 1862 so it is a a beer tap a keg tap which is very cool yeah I found part of one of those before it's a shame it's broken yeah very cool I've also never heard of Adamus no <laughs> So that's the new thing we learnt this week. <laughs> we're going to have to soak the button for a, a bit more because, yeah, we didn't have time, unfortunately. I ran out of lemon juice. <laughs> <laughs> and the London button, I can only read something and co, not button. Um, you said it was a part of a button. No, no, you know the things that you put in buttonholes or on collars or on shoulder things? So I knew I had an example. And I don't know what this is called. But it's one of these. Yeah, that's what I think it is. So if anyone knows what they're called, please let me know. Yeah, it's kind of weird that it says words on it. Well, I can't think what else that back would be. It's too thin for us, like a split pin. It just looks the same as the back. Yeah, and then some other bits for craft, really. Yeah, it was just a bead day, wasn't it? Just it was a, a bead wonderful, day. wonderful bead day. So as always, we'd just like to thank everyone that watches, likes, comments and subscribes every week. Our wonderful donors and our excellent Patreons. Not sure where we're going to be next week. Never do, do we? <laughs> Not at the moment. <laughs> no. Um, but hopefully we have some luck and it's fun. So we hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.